So this mind map is then all about rates of reaction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with collision theory. Collision theory is what must happen for a reaction to happen. Particles must collide. They must collide with enough energy and they also must be in the correct orientation. Okay, So that basically means that they're pointing in the right direction. So all three of those must happen for a reaction to happen. The required practical is the disappearing cross. That's where you've got a conical flask, you look from above and you've got a cross underneath. And a precipitation appears that then makes the solution cloudy. A reversible reaction. That is the symbol for a reversible reaction. And you need to know a definition. Okay, so it basically means a reaction can go one direction, it can go another direction. And an example of irreversible, a irreversible reaction could be burning something, right, where the reaction only goes in one direction. States of matter. We've got gas, liquid, solid, aqueous. Symbol G, symbol L, symbol S, symbol AQ. Now, this one is then how you actually measure the rate of a reaction, right? How fast something then is kind of how a reaction actually works, all right, and how you, can, how you can see how much is actually being used. First one is then a precipitation, okay? That is then your disappearing cross, but what happens is um, a, a precipitation appears which makes it go cloudy. You could get a color change. You could get a change in mass. So that one there is where you've got a conical flask with a reaction going on, right, and it's sat on a mass balance and the mass goes down. That means a gas is coming off. And you could also have the amount of gas given off. So that could then well be um, where you're collecting the gas in a gas syringe. Factors affecting the rate of the reaction, right? This is absolutely vital, you need to know these. We've got temperature, we've got concentration, we've got pressure, we've got surface area, and we've got a catalyst, right? You need to know how all five of those affect the rate of reaction. So if the temperature goes up, what happens to the reaction? If a temperature goes down, what happens?